This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12, problem number 22. What is the set of all values of the parameter a for which the equation 2 minus absolute value of x equals ax has two solutions? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we will be doing the solution. To start, we need to define what absolute value of x is. That is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and is equal to negative x if x is less than 0. We can divide this into two cases because we want to have two solutions. If x is greater than or equal to 0, which is this case, meaning that absolute value of x would be equal to x, we can put x instead of absolute value of x in this equation to get that 2 minus x is equal to ax. Adding x to both sides, we would get that 2 is equal to x plus ax, and we can factor out an x and divide by a plus 1 in order to isolate x. And this, again, must be greater than or equal to zero. Well, we know it can't be equal to zero because the numerator is two and a fraction is only equal to zero if the numerator is zero. So this means that a plus one must be greater than zero. And we know this must be true because two over a plus one must be a number greater than zero and 2 is positive. So in order for a positive numerator over a denominator to be equal to a positive number, the denominator must also be positive. Which means that if we subtract 1 from both sides, we would get that a must be greater than negative 1. Now let's look at the other case. If x is less than 0, like here absolute value of x would be equal to negative x, which means that 2 plus x would be equal to ax using the equation from over here. Simplifying, we would get that 2 is equal to ax minus x, and then we would factor out an x and divide by a minus 1 in order to isolate x, and we would know that 2 over a minus 1 is less than 0. In order for this fraction to be less than 0, a minus 1 must be less than 0 because we have a positive numerator, and a positive numerator divided by a negative denominator would lead to a negative answer, which is what we want, since we want our answer to be less than 0. So this means that a minus 1 must be less than 0. Adding 1 to both sides, we would get that a is less than 1. And combining our two answers, we would get that a must be between negative 1 and 1, but not including negative 1 or 1, which means that answer choice b must be correct. Thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.